Hi, it's Belinda, Aussie Stitcher, coming to you on this 9th of December, 2023. Um, just over four weeks since I did my yearly whip parade. Um, thank you for all the new subscribers. It, that was more than I expected, so thank you. And if you're new here, welcome. Because I have had quite a bump in subscribers in the last uh, probably 12 months, reality speaking, I'm just gonna do a quick um, intro, a re-intro of who I am. I am Belinda, I have four kids, three girls and a boy, Sophie, Iona, Michaela, William, that's um, in that order that all born. We live on a farm in Western Australia in the um, area called the Midwest. So you have, you know, Perth, where we're gonna say rough going, we're gonna say between four to five hours from Perth up north. So our summer temperatures are 45 degrees Celsius, you know, for a couple of months. Um, we um, brought the farm in 2012. My husband is from Scotland and he really wanted to buy a farm. And for many years up until um, last year, beginning of last year he worked full-time for someone and we farmed when we could um, the farm was leased for a while and then we ended up working it ourselves and we decided um, in 20, 2021 that we were going to um, go farming full-time on our own and we moved in on our actual farm in 2022 so um, we live where we live it is um, how would you put it it's I can't think of the right way to put it we don't get a lot of rain so marginal marginal area um, we can have good years average years and this year was a shit year sorry for swearing um, we ended up so far with 130 meals of rain from January to now that that and that happens like so it wasn't a fantastic year but we still grew a crop and we harvested it um but still it was not a great year um what else doing lots of farms i love drinking coffee and stitching i have on average about 50 whips if you watch my whip parade you would have seen all of them and my plans for next year um I work um, about 30 hours a week at a local IGA and fit stitching in around all the other kids stuff. Um, and there, that's about it. That's just a rundown on who I am and my life. Let's get into stitching. This is going to be a really, really quick video. I kind of just started to get my stitchy bug back. So, um, not a lot of stitching, but we'll go with it. So this is already in a frame. This is Anzac by um, Long Dog Sampler in my stitching button bag. There we go. I am doing mine on, and I somehow, here we go. The card's just here. Um, 36 Bittersweet Lakeside. Linen. I'm doing it with um, Deems. This is not 36 Lakeside. This is 32 count. That is wrong. I'll leave that because that's wrong. This is 32 count. I'm not sure who it is, but um, it's with 310 DMC. You would have hopefully seen a before pick. I did 612 stitches. So I'm doing Australia, 
I did a bit of Ned Kelly and I think I've done down here as well. I do have my thread because this is the one I often take with me um, when the kids have, well, it was, um, my oldest Sophie has a part-time job and hasn't got her driver's license yet, just her L's. So I have to wait for her until she finishes work two days a week. Not that I really, I take this with the intent to stitch and I usually chill. It's a good chilling time. So. I then worked on A Perfect World and I got 966 on this. Another stitch and button bag. So that's A Perfect World by The Scarlet House. And it says, in a perfect world, you would find me here with the birds and the flowers and the dogs and the deer. And I'm stitching with this with all the um, cord for thread. And if I was getting this up again, I would not waste my time with whitewash. I would just use white or, you know, one of the different colours for white. This is where I am. Now this is on 36 count antique ivory, I'm pretty sure. And I worked, I think a bit here, finished off the um, fence and then I did some on the house so that it doesn't become overwhelming. But yeah, I am doing two over two because I felt with the black down here, I wanted the coverage. The black is DMC 310. Loving it how it looks though. Just that little corner to go and I will have a finish. And then I worked on Lady Rose for the grand total of 361. This is a bag by a friend of mine that sent it all the way from America. I need a coffee drink. So Lady Rose by Joan Elliott. That was just a mind blank. I often don't say what my needle minders are because a lot of them have, um, are no longer producing. And this is stitched on 32 count Belfast Sprite by Picture This Plus. You would see a before pick. That's where she is. And that is a washout on the actual color bit better but anyway I'll come in that's way better of what the color is and I did I don't count my back stitching but I did back stitching in here and then I stitched up here and in here this was right in my struggling <coughs> excuse me If I just sat down, I could probably have this done in like three months on a thousand stitches a day, and a day, oh my goodness, a thousand stitches a month. And um, with, you know, including the back stitching beading and it'll be just done. And lastly, I have stitched, well, I have written down here 616 stitches and then I went back and stitched a little bit more. So it's a little bit more than that, but I don't know what it is. It's Autumn Queen, which I don't seem to have brought over the picture. So I will insert it and then where I was. So I've done oh, over 700 stitches on this one and it's still on my frame. It's just about to come off. I use the quantum frames and 
I love them. Mm. Until I'm trying to show it though. Sorry. And I stitched in here. So, stitched in here and up. And this is stitched on 32 count heritage by picture this plus um i wanted to when i went did this stitch on both sides which i now have done because i've done the bottom page just to make sure there's no counting errors like i've stuffed up somewhere right at the beginning so that I know that the dress over here matches up and the dress over here matches up. And this is where it starts going into her waist. So really happy with that. This is going to be a really quick video. Sorry, people. I have no purchases or anything like that. So that's it. That is my stitching. I am... Um, it, it, it's been really insanely busy. Kids are breaking up next week from school. Sophie goes into year 12 next year, so we've um, ordered all her books that she needs. Um, yeah, um, she's going to be a head girl next year at our school. Our school is very, very small. We're a very small town. So um, to give you an idea how small, we're at what they call a district high, which means... Um, we have uh, around 200 students from kindergarten to year 12. So I think in Sophie's graduating year, she'll have 15 kids. So we're a very small school. So, but it's very still exciting for her to do that. Um, Iona is gonna be a school counselor. We won't know about Michaela. Um, when you go into year seven, that because we get um, kids from other surrounding towns, maybe, um, they wait until to see who's there in term one before they do it. But yeah, um, yeah, just been really, really busy. Um, still hasn't really rained much. It is what it is. At this point, it might as well not rain until January, February-ish. Even though my tanks are dying for rainwater. And now I feel like I'm just going to ramble on because I'm like, oh, I want a longer video. But it is what it is. Um, this time around, it's a short video. So, but thank you again for all the people who um, have subscribed and watched, comment and like. It's been amazing. Um, hopefully, um, after Christmas, when we get um, in January... I'll have a bit more content to show you and a bit more. I might do a preview. I've got to ask the kids, though, if they're okay if I show them any photos of them um, on, on the previous year around the farm and stuff that we've done. But they're not all here to ask, so I'll leave that for next time. But, yeah, enjoy your Christmas. Hope you get some stitching in, spending time with family and friends. And I'll see you in the new year. Enjoy. Happy stitching.